baby. What it is? Oh, what's up? Oh, what it is? <laughs> Hi, guys. It's been long. Hi there. Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? <laughs> so, I'm back after not so long, but kind of long, but not so long. But yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Happy New Year, y'all. Happy New Year 2020. Let's get it, period. I'm supposed to be looking at the lens, but I'm looking at you because you are chatty. Okay. 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 Please. In the description, in the description below, tell me if you want me to look in the lens or like there because it's kind of, I don't know. I'm used to just looking at myself because hello hello okay now to the point today's video is gonna be about how to get closer to God in 2021 it's all about Jesus baby period this year 2021 it's all about God period so I'm gonna give you some tips on how to you know stay with God and maintain your relationship with God because to be in his presence guys is sweet it's very sweet okay number one is pray prayer it's important prayer you have to pray and not only just pray you know prayer is like a conversation between two people so when you pray you don't just talk you're just talking you're like, god i want what i want i want hey you can go mad even you as a person if you are talking to someone and they're just telling you about themselves you'll be like uh -uh, can i talk can you allow me hello hello hi so when we pray we also have to listen you know we have to listen we have to have a quiet time of god you know so that you listen to what he has to say to you you listen to instructions you know also also with prayer make sure you pray with faith believing that what you've prayed for has come to pass and also when you are setting up your prayer points allow the holy spirit to guide you you know guide your your wishes so that you'll be praying according to god's will because god will answer your prayers according to his will ah! i know i know i know yeah <laughs> next thing number two number two um listen to sermons you have to soak in the word you have to soak in the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. So if you're not hearing, if you're not listening, like over, you can hear, that's okay. But over and over again so that you retain that faith. Because if you stop listening, you start, you know, word, listen to sermons to grow your faith, you know. that part uh number three did i mention read your bible read your bible oh, read your bible are you listening read your bible because in reading your bible um whatever like situations or circumstances you go through you like remind yourself of what the word says if you don't read your bible you don't know you don't know what it says about and I guarantee you, every situation you go, you're going through, or you've gone through, or are going to go through, it's in the Bible. And there's a way out. There is a way out. God didn't promise us a um, straight road. He promised us to be there, even, even in those bumpy roads. He's there, guys. He is there. Trust me. Trust me. He's there. Um, yeah, read your Bible so that you remind yourself of his promises. 
cravat. That part, ooh, number four. Is it number four or number five? Oh, getting too hot in here. Oh, we spurned that you? Sheesh. Okay, number four. Um, make sure uh, your environment is like filled with the Holy Spirit. So like when you're studying or, or just chilling or I don't know, just make sure you, the envi your environment is just filled with the Holy Spirit, just filled. Meaning like there should be gospel music, worship music playing in the background or a sermon playing. Even if you're not listening, it, I'm telling you, it has an impact. It has an Im worship music playing, guys. Okay, just try it. Let me, I'll give you a task. Go and try it. Go and just uh, put worship music. Not too loud, not too low. Just in, while you're doing chores or anything. Just play it. Come and tell me what happens after that. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, find a solid church. Find a solid church, solid community to help you with your work with God because it's not just you're born again I've arrived no baby um it's a journey okay <laughs> it's a journey it's a whole journey bro like and it's not easy but God is with us okay and be born again okay to be born again is accepting God as your Lord and Savior, confessing your sins and believing that He died for your sins and rose again. And yeah. Uh -huh. Find a solid church. Don't be criticizing all oh, the church is what eh, eh. Go in there and see for yourself. Not just in here. Oh, I heard that. Ah! Don't yet. Ah! 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 I heard that this. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Just go and listen for yourself and then you come and talk. Okay? Okay? Yes, find a solid community where you'll be edified. Do you understand? Where the Bible says iron sharpens iron. You know? And if you chilling or friends with people who will just take you back to the world, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be like very difficult. But to have a community or like Christian friends, so important because they help you you guys you help each other in, in your work with Christ it is because ah, it's not easy yo it's not easy with social media ah social media oh. <laughs> and another thing I really advise you to be taking social media breaks because social media Instagram Instagram not kill me nope no 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 because Instagram, you'll be scrolling, scrolling, you have forgotten your identity in Christ. And you start say, oh, I want, eh, you want what? What does God want you to have? Hey, I'm speaking to myself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I'm done. Comment down below if you want like a part two or something, you know. And I want to leave you with this. Jesus loves you. Jesus wants you to come back to him. He's he's there with open arms just for you. Just for you. So Jesus loves you and don't be ashamed. Don't feel guilty or anything because you've sinned too much. No. Jesus has his arms are open, baby. Just go back to him and just go back in his word and Get uh, friends that will help you in the walk. Accountability partners. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. And yeah, and if you want to repent, um, I'll leave it in the next slide. You can repent and just give your life, life to Christ or give your life back to Christ, you know. And yeah, peace and love to you all, guys. I love you guys so much and love you.
okay? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know, share this to your friends, your friends, your family. This one's family. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, should I end in a prayer? Okay, let's pray, guys. Father, we thank you for your love, mercy, and kindness. Thank you for everyone that has watched. Lord, I pray that you guide us and fill us, with, fill us with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, mercy, and kindness. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray thanksgiving in our hearts. And everybody says...